Decades after I made my first 4017-based LED light chaser on a breadboard, I had an application where I could use that circuit, so it was worth soldering it up on a protoboard. The 4017 is a decade counter with 10 decoded outputs. Inside, there's a five-stage Johnson counter. On every clock pulse, the internal counter will advance, and the decoder will sequentially turn on just one output at a time, active high. So if you put LEDs on those outputs, you'll get a light chaser that goes one light at a time, and when it gets to the end, it'll start at the beginning again. I wanted to use this as a visual metronome when I recently did the Halloween-based intro for one of the mailbags. It was hard enough trying to keep time doing one music part, but trying to combine up to three different simultaneous music parts became very difficult. So I breadboarded a version of this circuit with five lights to act as a metronome, and I found that a lot easier. When I was looking for parts to build this circuit, instead of just getting shiny new parts out of part trays, I want to repurpose old parts as much as possible, so I took a look in the junk bin and I found a couple of parts that I could use. Here's the standard 4017 light chaser circuit, where you have a clock coming in, and one by one these LEDs are going to light up with only one on at a time. When it gets to the end it will start over at the beginning. Enable is active low, so I just keep that to ground so it's always running. And reset is active high, so I pull reset down normally. But optionally, I can add a wire to one of these outputs. And when a certain output goes high, if reset is connected there, instead of turning on this LED, it will just immediately reset the chip and we go back to the first one on. Usually a metronome is an audible tick or beep or something, but if it's not practical for you to be able to hear the metronome, you can make a visual one with LEDs. So if I want four lights to light up and then go back to the beginning, acting as a metronome, I can throw this reset on the fifth LED, and then I have four beats lighting up at the clock rate over and over, and I can use that to make some noise and have a visual count of what I'm supposed to be playing to. So using this just as a visual light chaser or as a practical metronome circuit, in both cases it would be nice if I could adjust the clock rate much slower than I think I would ever need for keeping time or for watching lights go on, and of course much faster, so I can control the speed of the lights well within practical limits. So trying to use common part values I used a 555, and with these resistor capacitor values, I can change this clock rate between 0.3 Hz all the way up to 30 Hz. Or, if I want to convert this to minutes, there's 60 seconds in a minute, so I multiply by 60 and I can control this between about 18 and 1800 beats per minute. And here's the anti-award winning soldering job on the final circuit. So I can adjust the speed from very slow, much slower than I would ever need, up to much faster than I would likely need. So that's a good adjustment range. And I have a 0.1 inch post right here for reset, and a right angled 0.1 inch post on every 4017 output. So if I want to reset this before it gets all the way to the end, I just put the reset pin on the LED just past the one I want to be the end of the chain. So if I only want this to go the first five lights, like the prototype, I would put the reset pin on the sixth light, and now it just goes one through five over and over. It only took 30 something years for me to actually bring this from a breadboard to a protoboard, finding an application that I can use. And there's other practical uses I still may have. For example, I have AC running at 60 hertz, 120 volts, so if I have a transformer and I can step that down and derive a logic level pulse at 60 times per second, I can use a couple of these chips and divide by 10 and then divide by 6, and I end up with an accurate 1 hertz clock, and I can use that to keep time if I'm plugged into the wall. Maybe I'll build a discrete clock one of these days, but for now, this makes a good metronome or nostalgic display.